The protests are believed to be just a vivid demonstration of the changes in U.S. society. Todd Gidlin is a professor of journalism and sociology at Columbia University. He's also the author of Twilight of Common Dreams, Why America is Racked by Culture Wars. Professor, great to have you with us. Hi. Is what's happening in Charlottesville, Virginia, a unique case confined to only certain areas of the country? Or do you think it is a reflection of a larger question at issue, a wider national trend? The far right, the neo-Nazi Ku Klux Klan right, decided to focus on Charlottesville as a symbolic center. They are angry because their heroes from the Confederacy, from the slavery part of American history, have been uh, downplayed. They're being statues being taken down. So they decided to congregate to, to center on um, Charlottesville, and they uh, they devoted a lot of energy to getting some hundred, several hundred people there. And they were met with uh, anti-fascist uh, objectors. Uh, the police were ill-prepared for the collision between them, uh, in a shocking way, I should say. Um, so symbolically, what's just happened is the eruption of the far right, which has been cultivated and encouraged by Donald Trump. They have, uh, they feel liberated. They feel this is their time. They feel that their white supremacist, white nationalist values are now uh, embattled. <clears throat> and this is a great opportunity for them to fight out a symbolic protest. Now, I expect we will see more versions of this. They, they have already, these uh, white nationalists, so-called, have already uh, declared they have a demonstration coming up next Saturday in Boston. Um, there are not a vast number of such people, but there are uh, many thousands of such people. And they think that this is now the time when they can stand up with the sympathy of the president of the United States uh, and fight for what they regard to be the honor of the white race, which is being embattled by uh, dark-skinned people. Well, Professor, um, talking about President Donald Trump, what do you think of his response to the issue? Some criticized him for not condemning white supremacists, um, but his team issued a statement this morning saying that President Trump, in fact, uh, did condemn a quote-unquote all sides that naturally included white supremacists. Look, this is ridiculous. He had an opportunity while he was on live camera yesterday to say that the responsibility for this killing and the many other uh, injuries that were caused by the uh, neo-Nazis. The responsibility was squarely on the heads of the neo-Nazi. had the oper perfect opportunity to say that. He didn't say that. Instead, he dripped it off into one of his characteristic evasions. Today, somebody in the White House thought it was advisable to try to temper that statement. But nobody should be fooled. The real Donald Trump, the authentic Donald Trump, uh, is an, uh, encourages the uh, white supremacists, uh, thinks that uh, it, it is true that uh, the uh, anti-fascists are just as culpable as the fascists. Uh, this is an extraordinary situation, and, and I think we're, we're getting mm -hmm. yet another revelation of the nihilism, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, vileness the uh, racial uh, animus of Donald Trump. Well, Professor Todd Gidlin from Columbia University, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome.